The 19th century can be considered the century of nationalism and racial theories, where the terrible events of World War II and its genocides on minorities find their roots. And already at a very early age, Adolf Hitler, Julius Streicher, and all the early Nazis who were all born in the 19th century, like Hitler was born in 1889, got familiar with the racist works of a certain duke and true pharaoh and member of the worldwide Per A Big House royal bloodline who openly, openly advocated in his books, magazines and newspapers for the total eradication, extermination and elimination elimination of the Jewish race like in a final solution and which was finally made by the Swiss and guess where he lived yes Switzerland of course the octagon center of all evil in the Alps his name was Duke Hartwig von Hund Radowski and lived from 1780 till 1835, where he died in Burgdorf, Switzerland, which is a center of neo-Nazis in Switzerland today. Here you can read it, neo-Nazis in Burgdorf, uh, the, um, the Burgdorf police protects neo-Nazis, well that's very common in Switzerland. And, well, Bergdorf, that's the same town where these races uh, um, uh, lived and died, this uh, Hartwig Hund Radowski. The same Swiss Nazi town where in 2011 the aggressive Swiss Nazi cop Hans Rudolf Kuni hit me in front of my children. Here you can see him, you know, stretching his hands for me getting aggressive and hitting me you see i mean this is his hand you can see it you know and then light some things together on orders of the equally fascist burgdorf justice department in fact related to my article in an austrian newspaper about the swiss premeditated murder of wolfgang umfogel and his actions against swiss banks trillion dollar tax evasion in that very same town that bred one of the main roots of world war ii and its genocides a swiss town with a long-standing fascist and racist tradition so and here's some information um, under the video here which was zoomed in and slowed down by marino delfino a great guy from england the racist Pharaonic Duke lived in 1908 in Appenzell and 1824 in Argau, all in Switzerland, before finally settling down in that Nazi center of Bergdorf, where he published in 1822 the Judenschule, meaning the Jew school, and several books like Der Judenspiegel or Jew Mirror. So here you can read it. He was born in 1759 and he died in Bergdorf, Switzerland in 1835 where the Nazi police, they hit foreigners and lie things together as they did with me uh, where it's, 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 a, um, it's a high concentration of neo-Nazis which is even in the newspapers here so this is what's going on in Bergdorf. It's just around the corner from where we live, actually. A charming town, I tell you. And real charming people, you know. And um, so these are really the pillars of the genocides of, the, of World War II, in which also more than 50 million people who were no Jews, no gypsies, uh, had to die as well as my grandfather who was an officer in the British Navy Therefore the Duke von Hund Radowski was a very respected man in Switzerland and the natural born Racist Swiss loved him for his works whereas in France and Germany they kicked him out So here it says 
Why the Germans? Why the Jews? Well, in all my videos, I think I've given you the answer to that question, eh? Why the Germans? Why the Jews? In Germany, there never was any, like, pogroms and races things going on. So, here you can read the answer. Look at that film, Auschwitz, made in Switzerland. The Swiss are the mastermind behind it. They have a very long tradition in killing people for the Pope and for the aristocracy with their mercenaries. And in that very same Nazi town of Bergdorf, uh, with a very long racist and fascist tradition with Hund Radowski, the Duke, I found in 2012 in a, Sw in a Bergdorf newspaper by this guy here, I mean, just look at him, you know, just well, you, you, can, you can just put him in the SS in Auschwitz, you know, look at him. Put a cap on his hat, you know. Uh, I found a, uh, an appeal um, for violence against American citizens, which they call the U.S. monster. And, and why? Because, um, because of the IRS putting pressure on the Swiss Nazi banks. So this is the castle of Bergdorf with the bear on it. And this is my video. And, uh, but I can't even see it anymore because the first thing the Swiss did, and actually the, the Nazi Justice Department of Bergdorf, and that was right after the, the Swiss Nazi cop Hans Rudolf Kuni hit me here, they deleted my film in Switzerland, so I can't even see my own film anymore. But luckily enough, this guy here, Joe Torre from uh, Norway, a great guy from Norway, he copied it. So just have a look. And this great guy from um, from Oregon, Chevy Can, uh, he copied it as well. So you can have a look at it. Just just punch them the the uh, this title in it, and you can probably see my video. The um, you see it's two twenty minutes, two twenty. Uh, you can you can even see it on my channel if you're outside of Switzerland. So this is an appeal for violence against American citizens. Also in the same town of Bergdorf, all these things are happening. We have this long time Nazi tradition, which finally led to all those horrible things uh, of World War II. I mean, this is a center of evil. It's just around the corner where we live. You know, they come here and chop the, our cat's leg off. They, they're giving murder threats by the Swiss Nazi police, you know, and... and Oh man, these people are so evil. Somebody help, please. And today, they, the Swissy, here it says Schweiz, Swiss, and these are all Swiss. Today, actually today, you know, this is now, Swiss flag here. They have the mis misanthropic division in the Ukraine. They're killing Russians, Ukrainians, everybody there, and they're financing it. This is actually happening today. This is what Swiss is doing. And why? Well, because there's Bessarabia. They have a large Swiss community with names like the, 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 the Zurich Valley and, and things like that. You know, I showed in one of my other videos about the, uh, the Swiss sleeper agents. And Bessarabia has nothing to do with Arabia, but it is a part of the Ukraine where there's a large Swiss community living. So this is why the war in the Ukraine is actually happening. With Swiss banks financing, you know, what's, we know what's happening now with the HSBC. The billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, you know, weapons. Well, you can see here the weapons here. And um, more charming people, isn't it? You know, just, we have to clean the rat's nice nest out and the Ukrainian war will be over. And uh, the, the same with the Islamic State and all that, you know. The Islamic State, they're not fighting for Islam, you know, just, just like the, the Germans were not fighting for the Germanic race. They were all fighting for Switzerland and the Swiss banks. And the outcome of the Second World War really proved it. You know, German, Germany was gone, you know. And the Germans never really were racist or having pogroms and all that. It's all from Switzerland. And I've shown it to you hundreds of times, you know. 
Now this is actually no, Schweiz, they have the misanthropic division. So you probably ask, well you understand the word division, but what misanth misanthropic, misanthropia is a, um, is, is a thing that means, it literally, it's Greek and it literally means the hatred for mankind, which is such a typical Swiss idea. You know, Swiss servants, Satan's seed, the SSSS. So this here is not being done by somebody who doesn't like Switzerland and knows they're Nazis and say, well, you Swiss Nazis. No, it's done by a Swiss website, which is called Patriot.ch. And... Um, they, it's the Swiss themselves who made this. They know they're Nazis, and well, you know. So from the from the Duke Hartwig von Hund Radowski until today, 2015, and Swiss terrorizing and murdering immigrants and showing them in the streets with their racial discriminating posters, nobody has ever done anything against the Swiss driving force behind two world wars, mass murders, and genocides. How come? Well, Octogon in the Alps is Pharaoh's base of the aristocracy founded by their Templars, protected by their worldwide web of Freemasonry and all key positions, and where all the money is. Now why else do you think the French head of Nazi Vichy Marshal Pétain was hiding in the Octogon, motherland in the Alps in 1945? And Benito Mussolini tried to make it to Switzerland in 1945, but where Italian civilians caught him right at the Swiss-Italian border and hanged him right away. Now his granddaughter Alessandra Mussolini again is the leader of the Italian neo-fascist with a seat in the European Parliament. A Swiss fascist wave against humanity that started with the Duke Hartwig von Hund Rudowski in Switzerland, Bogdorf. Which seems to be a never ending Swiss Templar story against mankind and against our freedom in peace. Oh, yes, Swiss you always have their dirty little fingers in it. Somewhere, somehow. So here you can see their website, uh, it's called Patriot, here it says Patriot CH, CH for, for Confederatia Helvetica. And they have the money, you know, they're financing it all. Yeah, again, it's three, Isis, Horus and Seth. And the Swiss, here you can see it, it's their own thing they're making, you know. And you know, teaming up, financing Islamic State, probably, Arabic letters there. Yeah, there it says, Patriot C8. And the Swiss police is just saying, well, go on, you know, go on, we like it, you know. Don't worry, we have a very nice set of diplomats, you know, who can smile very well, you know, uh, to the American president and the, uh, the European parliament, you know, nothing will happen. We are so good, you know, we are the Swiss, eh? Here it says, Judenspiegel by um, Hunt Radowski, the Duke. And it was published, there was a Jew mirror, it was published in 1822 in Switzerland, Schweiz, Switzerland. And it says, they, he said, well, we, you must put all the Jews as forced laborers in, um, in the mines. <laughs> this is exactly what the, uh, what the Nazis did and castrates the Jews and their wives and daughters. Now, this is what they did with Dr. Mengele, who was you know, who was um, protected in Switzerland after the war. I mean, it's, well, read it yourself, you know. It's in German here. It's, um, and again, you know, more than 50 million people who were not Jews, like my grandfather, had to die because of this, because of the, 
They got what, what they wanted to do and they got filthy rich after the war. Yeah. Put in the link for you. Here's some more, you know, he was in Argau in Switzerland in 1821 and he was in Appenzell in 1808 and in 1822 again in Aarau, Switzerland where he published the Jew School, a uh, three books. <laughs> he did most of his work, he could do it in Switzerland. Yeah. He says here, well, so I'll, well, I'll put it in the links for you. It's in the Duke Hartwig Hund Radowski from Switzerland. What a charming country, what a charming people. Anyone wants to swap places with me?